Uh, well, the Seahawks are the team to beat this year, and apparently they stay focused on the field using an emphasis on relaxation, specifically breathing exercises and yoga, which yoga is now part of their workout regimen. In fact, quarterback Russell Wilson told ESPN he meets twice a week with the team's sports psychologist to meditate and relax. What a great picture of Wilson there. Brad Lichtenstein, Dr. Lichtenstein, is a naturopathic doctor with Bastyr University, here to talk to us about mindful breathing. Thank you so much for be being here. A sigh. <laughs> so it seems like it must be working for Russell Wilson. What is mindful breathing? Well, the nice thing about breathing is it's both under our involuntary and our voluntary control. So it's involuntary, so we don't have to think about it and we can go about our day. But we can also, it's under our voluntary control, so we can control it. So like you said, take that sigh. Mm -hmm. Mindful breathing is the approach of focusing on our breath without judgment. And that's that's actually the key. It's without judgment. It's watching our breath and directing our attention. Wow. I'm not fully sure I understand exactly I what, understand that, that. what that means. So um, we'll, we'll get into some examples. Why, though, is it so good for us? Because obviously it's catching on. Well, I think it's catching on because it works and because the research is showing, uh, new research is showing all the benefits of breathing. Um, you know, the thing about our breath is when we change our breath, it has a profound impact on our nervous system. Most of the time when you say to somebody, hey, breathe, you know, they notice that they haven't been breathing and they've been holding their shoulders tight or they've been holding their breath. And then they sigh. Mm -hmm. uh, what we know now is that every time we inhale our breath, uh, inhale and breathe and hold our breath, it stimulates that fight or flight response. Oh. And every time we exhale, that stimulates the parasympathetic response. That stimulates the rest and relaxation response. Wow. So can you give us some more examples? Because, I mean, the players are using it. We'd like to be able to do this at home. In fact, Matt, would you come in and yeah. be our be Sorry. our guinea pig here? I ran over here. So, I may be a bit out of breath. Yeah, so, hel <laughs> so help us. Show us, and I'll breathe with you, how to relax, how to breathe. What should we be doing? So if I say take a, a deep breath right now, what do you do? So notice, you're really good at this. Notice <laughs> that the first thing that you did was you took a big breath and your shoulders raised. And what we want to do with mindful, functional breathing is really breathe from our diaphragm. So what I tell people I start yeah. in our clinic is have their, them put their hand on their belly and one hand on their chest. Yeah. And we don't want this hand to move. And so I'm going to ask you to just... And you, notice that the you hand don't want your hand on your chest to move? You don't want the hand on the chest to move. We really want the belly to move. This isn't easy. Go hmm. for the diaphragm. Think diaphragm. No, because everything in our media with all those pictures, you know, we show tight abs. Yeah. And we don't want the... I, I have patients who come into the clinic, they put pillows in front of them because they mm -hmm. don't want me to see their belly move. We want the belly to move. That will be functional. So if you take a breath in... Try this at home. Yeah, try this at home. And the other thing we want to do is breathe through the nose, not through the mouth. Oh, why is that? Because breathing through the nose slows our breath rate down. Mm -hmm. It filters the air. It moistens the air. When the air is filtered, moistened, and warmed, it prevents the lungs from contracting. How you know, long should you do this? I mean, how, you know, these exercises. So, Matt, when you go home tonight, how, how often and for how long should he be breathing, well, I, consciously breathing? Consciously breathing. I have patients usually practice this 20 minutes a day. We practice wow. tw sometimes twice a day. 20 minutes twice a day. So like the Seahawks, we're talking about what are we practicing? So many of us are practicing distraction. You know, our culture is filled with people with attention disorders. And it's not necessarily a diagnosable attention deficit disorder. It's that we have been trained. We get emails, cell phones, everything is constantly bombarding ourselves mm -hmm. with information. But when we breathe this way, we're focusing just on the breath, getting the belly to move, and slowly. And so it's a slow breath. And we, hmm. we often talk about Conscious six breaths breathing. per minute. Can you do a yoga pose for us now? I saw Russell Wilson <laughs> do it, and I was, I was wondering, is that part of it? Does it make a difference? Posture definitely does. I, I should have said that mm. is upright. We're in the, we usually have the standard American posture. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, you guys don't. So but sit the up, let the belly move. And let the belly move. It's great And advice. breathe through your nose and slow your breath down. And try it, try it maybe once a day if you can't fit in t twice a day and then move up and you'll notice yes. a difference, you say. And you, definitely. Definitely. We're going to try it. In fact, we're going to try it and send it over to Walter Thanks. for the latest on. <laughs>